Here we are in uh, our new target pasture and this is full of uh, what's called ocean spray and you can tell that it's got those uh, white puffy tops and they're really kind of growing in and taking over the uh, understory here and you can see there's ocean spray and there's also the snowberry bush that's kind of dominating and uh, so we've we're just working on a pasture move bringing our corral closer to the target area and you can see there's the goats in there uh, getting into it and they really prefer this ocean spray and it's definitely their top preferred feed in this uh, pasture area Yeah, this is right where we want to try and get those goats to start loafing. So this is, now that we've got the infrastructure set up, we can herd the goats in here and get them used to hanging out in this area. So you can hear, see the goats here up on uh, the hillside. They've been really great today. The key is trying to keep them around the new uh, night corral area. And uh, they've just come down the hill. They've been really good staying around on the plateau all day. And uh, you can see just on the left-hand side of the screen, some of the electric fencing and some of the corrals that we use to try and keep the goats separate from uh, people's houses and the yard and stuff. And so we're just going to wait for them to come down and see what happens here. This is a really good uh, video that highlights our uh, bucks here and uh, just some of our kind of uh, uh, goat stock. We try and keep a mix of 50% uh, Kiko. That's a really nice Kiko uh, Boar Nubian cross and that's probably kind of the a really great foundational uh, mix. And then in the bottom right corner here you've also got two great, uh, just two great commercial bucks and they're part Kiko, part uh, Nubian as you can kind of see by kind of the the white patch on uh, this front one and uh, they just have really great body conditions and great uh, for me that's what I'm looking for at a commercial buck for this herd and uh, we've got mixes with uh, Angora and cashmere for anybody that would like to get into uh, really hearty uh, really hearty uh, fiber and there are they there just on the right hand side And that's our uh, Kiko Cross Cashmere there with uh, an, uh, an, her Angora 
sister right behind here. So those are Kiko Cross, Cashmere, and Angora. And so uh, really hardy uh, fiber goats. Uh, and then we have a mix of <clears throat> just everybody else over here. And uh, this brown goat with the kind of black stripe down the back is kind of more of uh, French Alpine. And uh, about 25% of the herd is uh, French Alpine, and they're really good uh, uh, genetics for this. And because uh, you want that kind of uh, hill climbing attitude uh, in your goats, or at least I do. So they're a uh, great addition as well.